I want to win every Saturday. They got 10 games on the schedule. I want to win all 10. And, we're gonna, and that's why we come to practice. We don't come to practice to say, okay, we'll give three of them away. We come to practice because we want to win all 10 contests, and they only give us 10. So for 10 consecutive Saturdays, we want to come out on top. So our three goals are beat Fordham for three consecutive wins and have a winning season because it hasn't happened since 1997 and the win Ivy League championship. Austin Nolan's a fantastic football player. We were blessed to have him here for four seasons. Um, losing him to graduation was a great thing for him to go on to the next phase of his life. And we had to go on to our next phase of our program without Austin Nolan. What we're going to have to do is I don't think that we have anyone on our team that's going to be able to bring the fear factor that Austin brought to football games. So we're going to have to spread that fear factor around and we're going to have to be efficient in the run game. And the receivers that we do have are going to have to, instead of each one of them getting 10 catches, they might have to get two or three extra catches just to make up the, the gap in receiving yards that we're going to lose with Austin. It's tough to go out and be all league. All league is picked by the other coaches. You can't vote for your own guy. Um, Adam Murr's a good player. Adam Murr plays hurt. Adam Murr goes out and, and does a yeoman's job, does what you ask him to do. And if he goes out and plays like he has the past three seasons, there's a good shot he'll be all league again this year. I think that the options are a very viable scheme in college football. I think that if you look at our running attack, we're going to, it's probably overstated to say we're going to take what the defense gives us, but we're not going to be scared to line up in two backs and a tight end and try to run the ball at you, but we're going to take advantage of some things and try to get the ball on the edge also with some option and some read zone things. Coach Gudikins came on as our defensive backs coach. He's done a great job. Um, I think that he's come in and he's helped not just the defensive side of the ball, but all of us as coaches get better just with the wealth of knowledge that he has. Coach Brown isn't a new addition, but he's got new responsibilities as a defensive coordinator. We're just flying along and everything's going good for us. Alex Torres knee at Lafayette and Calvin Torres tricep muscle up at Dartmouth. Uh, they had good preseason camps. I expect them to, to come back and, and be better than the players that they were uh, their sophomore and junior seasons. They put in a lot of work this preseason camp and we look forward to having them on the field. It's been a dream of mine since I've come to Columbia that when we're fortunate enough to win the Ivy League title that the mayor would ask that the Empire State Building be lit up in Columbia Blue. We're, we're thankful for every fan that comes out, every fan that, that reaches out to ask questions of the program. We, we're grateful that, that people care enough to come out and support us Saturday in and Saturday out.